A dog was electrocuted and a man sent to a hospital after they walked over a metal plate electrified by exposed wires from a light pole in Brooklyn. Now, the dog's heartbroken owner shared her story with us. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson joins us from the scene in Greenpoint. Kimberly. Well, Sandra Lita Billica was out to dinner when she got that devastating phone call that her dog Lala was dead. Now, Lita and her good friend Lauren, who was walking the four year old mixed breed at the time, they want answers how and why this could have happened. Go, 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 come on, let's go, let's go. Take a look. This is video of Lala on Sunday playing in the snow. She was the center of Lita's world. But last night around 7, Lauren was walking the dog in Greenpoint right near Clay Street. That's when Lala stepped on a metal plate, let out a bone chilling bark, collapsed, had a seizure, and died. She was electrocuted. Con Edison and the fire department did respond and determined a street lamp had been removed in that exact spot and a piece of metal was covering the hole. It was hot. It was carrying electric current. This all happened in front of a pet club. Several people from there ran to help along with a construction worker who simply put his hand near Lala and he got zapped. He did go to the hospital today and is expected to be okay. As for Lita, she's still in shock. She's angry, sad, and frustrated. It doesn't feel real. She, you know, she's like my best friend, my dog. You know, she's an emotional support animal. So she's highly trained, and I take her everywhere. Um, this was like the one night I didn't take her. I think it's so sad. It's terrific. I think that. Being able to walk your dog shouldn't be something that becomes a worrisome situation or a stressful one. And a lot of my clients are really worried right now because they don't know where they might step on the wrong thing and their dog could be gone in a second. Now, Con Edison says this did not involve any of its equipment, but a spokesperson for one bell slip confirms it was there. That spokesperson telling me as a result of this week's winter storm, an underground electrical wire was inadvertently exposed to snow and salt, which caused a temporary live charge to a metal plate on the ground. That spokesperson telling me it has since been fixed. Coming up at 5, the woman who performed CPR on Lala, You'll hear from her.